Governor General Sir Cornelius Smith and Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, among the dignitaries filing into the House of Assembly this morning to view the body of veteran broadcaster and former parliamentarian, the late Sir Edward Charles Carter, whose body lies in state. Reflecting on Sir Charles's impact on the country was House Speaker, the Honorable Halson Moultrie, who fondly remembers Carter as a great Bahamian. Sir Charles Edward Carter was a patriotic a Bahamian and what I would call a national influencer, uh, particularly in cultural, uh, in the cultural aspects of our development. He was instrumental in my life. He recruited me in basketball at the age of 17 on his Carter Satachi team. And I grew to know Sir Charles from the age of 17. We, we occupied and partic participated in basketball on the Priory grounds, that's in Francis. Uh, we were both what we call Priory rats. And Sir Charles was always a person who was encouraging young men to be Bahamian. Minister of State for Disaster Preparedness, Management and Reconstruction, the Honorable Pakisha Parker Edgecombe and Government Senator Jamal Moss shared similar sentiments. He would have done a remarkable job for this country, uh, having started also here at the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas and using his voice to basically spread the message of who we are as a people uh, from a cultural aspect to that of our heritage. He did a wonderful job and he's going to be greatly missed. What I remember with Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter is um, his love for culture. I remember when um, in 2002, uh, when um, the former executive chairman, also uh, um, ambassador, Mr. Kelsey Johnson, came out as executive chairman, Mr. Carter came along because he wanted to do his program, The Humans. And it was a very uh, intriguing and informative program for me.